welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we're closing out the first week of september and opening up the second week so without further ado let's go i finally finally have like a chill day so i can film all of the videos i wanted i'm going to film i think three or four videos now back to back just to edit them and everything before a crazy weekend and then next week is like full-on work mode i have a new uh, colleague starting so we'll probably be in training mode and then next week weekend i'm preparing for my trip and then i'm gone for a week and then it's almost september and then in october i have another trip so it's been crazy hectic with everything and i have friends coming into town and it's just been literally this is the first day i think in like two weeks where i've been sitting down just enjoying my morning coffee and actually doing stuff that I wanted to do and getting uh, back on track. So yes, let's start with the expenses as usual. I'm gonna stop rambling. We have 45 in groceries, 20 in spending, 45 in dine out. I paid 173.61 for uh, my part of the Airbnb on the trip that I'm going in September. You're gonna see it in my vlog. 35 for health, I went to a massage. Uh, 106 and 03 was in subscription, so I pay for my monthly coffee subscription and for the gym membership. 106 went into beauty, I went to a spa. I bought some beauty products because it was a very good uh, deals and 300 went into rent. So in total, it was a high spending week. We had 830 and 64 cents. So let's flip to the actual amount and then we're gonna set up the next week's budget so we had 470 euros to work with and a rollover of 16 so that was 486 so groceries has a rollover of let's see five spending is empty and dine out has a rollover of five perfect so that means groceries we spent 45 spending we spend the whole 20 and dine out 45 perfect so gas got five rent got 50 utilities got 30 miscellaneous got nothing but we're gonna add the this 10 uh from the rollover into there so that's what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna write it down so i don't forget so miscellaneous we have adding five so we sh uh, sorry adding 10 so we should have 162 but let's count 120 40 50 55 61 and 2 indeed so that's correct let's write that down so that was 45 plus 20 plus 45 plus 5 plus 50 plus 30 plus 10 205 486 minus 205 is 281 so all of the amounts here won't change now short-term sinking funds beauty got 20 christmas got 20 clothing got 10 health 25 holidays 5 subscriptions 10 and travel 50. so i was uh, i mentioned me creating my own uh, budgeting book like kind of budget setup for next year and a lot of people were very supportive very excited to see it so i will definitely show it to you once i'm done i am uh, working on it parallelly i'm just now writing down the long-term sinking fund amounts uh so i'm working on it parallelly uh to like all of my jobs and stuff so usually in the evenings when inspiration strikes uh i didn't think that the most uh hardest part will be choosing the color because i've gone through like i think four already different color schemes and i like each one for a short period and then i find another one that i change it all so i'm not sure i had uh my first budget book was very colorful and each um, month was a different color so maybe that kind of can uh, satisfy my color mania but we'll see i want to keep certain layout so i definitely know that i need a weekly layout i know that i need an expense sheet i know i need a monthly uh like a monthly layout i need monthly closeout pages i need uh, a tracker that kind of tracks 
which months I've paid my rent, utilities, all of those subscriptions. Also maybe a graph that allows me to see the changes in my grand uh, total of the sinking funds. So maybe like a yearly layout, we'll see. But I am noting down things that I'm seeing also on other people's channels and other binders. So that's helping me a lot. I really like how you can set it up and just, you know, create it yourself. So we are starting week two of September and we are working with 470 euros this week. So 470 and my iPad uh, went to sleep. So I need to open it so we can see. Okay, so let me set up the amount. So groceries will be getting 50, spending a 20 and dine out a 50. Rent will be getting 75, nothing in gas. Utilities will be getting 50 and miscellaneous five. So I'm putting a lot in utilities and rent because I do want to stack up for the coming months. So rent doesn't change, but utilities change a lot for the winter months. The first, I think, heating month will actually be already October. So in summer, I pay anywhere from 30 to 50 euros, but in winter, it can be for 100, 100 to 150. So I really want to stack up now before I can. So I'm not, you know, going into the negative during the winter months. So 50 plus 20 plus 50 plus 75 plus 50 plus five, that's 250 going into bills and cash envelopes. So 470 minus 250 is 220. So 220 I'm bringing back, not back, bringing up here to short-term sinking funds. So putting 20 in beauty, 20 in Christmas, then in clothing, 20 in health, and 50 in travel. So that's 20 plus 20 plus 10 plus 20 plus 50. That's 120 going into short-term sinking funds. So 220 minus 120 is 100. Um, Long-term sinking funds, I'm putting five in babies, five into car, 25 in deposit, five in pets and retirement and for that nothing we're skipping technology and weddings because it's a smaller paycheck and that in total is 45 in short-term sinking fund long-term sinking fund sorry and 100 minus 45 is 55 also oh my god i forgot these are my new nails i forgot to show you i have cherries on my nails i was very excited to get them done because this is a design i wanted to do for a long time also very sad news my nail what is it nail artist nail specialist i've been going to her for two and a half years she's moving on the 18th of september away from my country so i will only get one new set from her next week on my like a pedicure and manicure but that will be the final set from her and then i need to find a new nail artist which is crazy because i love the location i love the communication i love the price the quality so i am in search for a new nail artist and it's hard all the girlies will know how hard it is when you find your like your person and you've been going to them for like such a long time and then you need to find somebody else who can you can trust also you like the result and the communication and the like the vibe so it is kind of like a intimate thing because nails you're gonna well wear for a while but yeah unfortunately that's sad that that's happening but I guess that's life. I'm wishing her well on her adventures. She's moving for better opportunities for work and a personal life. So wish her luck, but I will be very, very sad. So 55, we're putting into savings challenges and that's bringing us to a zero, which means that each year of our income has a place to go into our budget. But yes, that was the setup video for the week two of September. I will be back tomorrow with a cash stuffing of this video. And then I have fun videos coming up next week as well. So stay tuned for those. As usual, I wish you a very wonderful day, morning, evening, wherever you are. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.